Hey everybody, Adam with High Desert Hollow here, coming to you from my uh, family room here in my house today. Uh, kind of crappy weather outside, and uh, standing here with something that I've, a project I've been working on since, well, it was the middle of last winter when I started working on it. Um, and if those of you guys don't recognize what's behind me, it's my rocket mass heater. When Lu uh, Lucy and I moved into the house with the family, we, we've always had a wood-burning stove, but we wanted to do something a little bit different, and this house had the perfect spot for a rocket mass heater. And for those of you who don't know what a rocket mass heater is, it's basically a wood-burning appliance that uh, burns uh, less wood more efficiently, so it's better for the environment and uh, easier on me because I don't have to cut as much firewood. But what it is, is we got a burn chamber behind me, and it burns the wood super hot, super fast, and then it heats up a uh, thermal battery, which is the mass part. And uh, by running the chimney and the exhaust through a saw, the, the bench that's over here on the, my uh, other side here, and uh, heats it up, and then it radiates that heat out after it I mean, gets to a certain temperature, the fire will go out, and then that continues to radiate heat out for hours and hours and hours. So what I'm going to do, I don't have a lot, I, when I started making this, I did not have, I wasn't filming yet. So, but what I do is I've got a bunch of pictures of uh, the process along the way. And so I'll be putting those in and showing you a little bit of uh, what it looked like before, during, and to where I'm about now. It's not complete. I've just been fine-tuning things, getting things uh, working to where they're running really, really well now. Uh, it's dependable. I know it's going to burn. We had problems in the past where if the wind blew, we'd get backdraft and the whole house would feel full of smoke. Um, and it, we'd also just, sometimes it just wouldn't burn. Um, got a super understanding wife. That's all I can say. She, uh, she let me experiment and play until I finally got this to where I think I've got all the problems worked out and so what I'll do is I'll show you the different parts of it and then when it's all done I'm getting ready to do the make the pretty part put the rock on the wall behind me so it's rock all the way up so just the dirt rock and uh, also put the rock on the bench and make it look like it's built into the house and supposed to be here so like I say, we'll bring you up close. I'll show you a couple other things and kind of talk you through what it does and how it works and why it's called a rocket mass heater. Okay, so this is a rocket mass heater. Rocket mass heaters come in multiple different sizes, and all the sizes are based off of how big the chimney system you want to do it on. I've seen guys build them on four inches, six inches, and eight inch round pipe. Um, this one's an eight inch system, and the way these work is we've got a burn chamber a burn tunnel, the riser, the barrel, which is what this is supposed to be, and then after the barrel, it goes down into the bench, and it goes it out to the bench, back through, back up behind the barrel, and out the chimney here in the back, back here. And what it's designed to do is we're basically gotten, we basically have a controlled chimney fire is what we're doing because it's burning so hot and so fast right down here, this is the burn, this is where the whole fire starts and instead of the wood go, stacking in there like that like a normal fireplace either on its side we burn this wood from the top this way so it burns from the bottom and it's got so much draw because of the heat transfer inside this that it's burning sideways so the fire's in the bottom, it's burning sideways into the burn chamber in the burn tunnel and then inside the barrel there's an 8 inch pipe that comes up right in the middle and so it's really super hot right there because it's like a blast furnace coming up and hitting this right here and it's coming up and it's it's not just 8 inches but then I've got a 16 inch pipe around that that it's insulated with a perlite fire clay mixture and what that does is it allows it so we have an insulation and a heat a heat differential between the super hot fire right in the center and then the, the uh, four inch space I've got all the way around that 16 inch pipe in the middle and so what that does is it creates a, a vacuum and as this burns the heat transfer is different it sucks air into this so fast we've got excess extreme heats right here it's about this high in the pipe right in the center it is the hottest is burning. What that's doing is it's burning all the creosote out of the smoke. It's called the secondary reburn. And what that's it is making it so if I'll get a video outside, it's really windy outside today, 
but uh, there is literally no smoke coming out of my chimney. Every once in a while you see a little wisp of something, and it's basically just CO2. There's no, there's no creosote, there's no unburned part, particulates in the, in the chimney or coming out in the smoke at all. Super efficient. And so what happens after we get to here, and it burns through here, comes down, and then it goes into the bench. And I'll show you more of the bench here in a minute. And then what it does is it comes back out. The neat thing about this is it's burning so hot, and I've got this thermal mass that I'm running the chimney through. I've already done it once, but you can tell a normal fireplace, you can't lay your hand on the chimney. It'll burn you so bad, and it's so hot. Right there, that's, that's lukewarm. It's, it's just barely warm to the touch. Because what I'm doing is I'm using all of the heat and power in the, uh, the, the, the developing with the fire into my thermal battery, which is going to radiate that heat out. One of the things that's unique about our system too is um, with where they build them all out of all reclaimed stuff. Sometimes it looks like they're built out of reclaimed stuff, and I'll be honest, mine right now is in rough. It's rough shape now. I haven't put the. I'm going to put the cultured stone on the front of it to make it all look like a rock bench when it's all done. I had to do the fine tuning and make sure it was going to work before I put money into making it look pretty. Uh, but what they normally use for the barrel portion is just a 55 gallon drum. And then having, within a couple years, it burns so hot that they have to replace it because it will burn through. My problem was is Lucy didn't want a 55 gallon drum in the family room. And so I kind of had to figure out a different way to do it. So what we ended up doing and coming up with is the, I had a barrel actually built. It's actually the same dimensions as a 55 gallon drum, except it's made out of a lot thicker steel. Uh, it went a little bit thicker than I probably needed to. Uh, this is actually half inch steel. A quarter inch would have probably been enough. But uh, I'm not gonna burn this one out. We'll just put it that way. Uh, it did take six guys to set it on here, though. So, if you are to build, if you are going to do this, and you're going to build your own, I would build it out of quarter-inch steel, not half-inch steel. So, I'm going to change angles, and we'll show you a little bit more of the bench, and go from there. All right, everybody. So we've kind of gone over the barrel and how it works. I'm sitting on the bench now, and this house, when we bought it, it's this house is a 110-year-old farmhouse built out of sandstone rock and so we've got this uh, like uh, bay window built in to the house and we didn't know for sure quite what we wanted to do with it uh, Lucy wanted a bench in it and so that's kind of what brought on putting the rocket mass heater where it's at because I was able to uh, build the bench but I built it as a heat source as well so we talked about the barrel the fire is in there the, once it gets done burning, we've still got to get rid of whatever's left in the for exhaust wise. We still don't, we don't want to be pumping a bunch of just CO2 in the house. People go to sleep and they don't wake up after that. So, what happens is there's a vent in the bottom of the barrel that pipes back into an 8 inch pipe system and it goes down and it comes down into this bench. And I've got to clean out right down here. I've got to clean out over there, and I've got to clean out at the base of the chimney. And that's just so I can, any little fly ash and stuff that comes out from the paper that we start the fire with and stuff, it will normally settles. I've taken the covers off three, four times now, and there hasn't been enough to clean out yet. It burns that efficient, and there's no creosote buildup on the inside of the pipe. But what happens is that pipe comes down, and, it, 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 and the pictures will show this better, and I'll... In fact, I'll put a, probably put a picture in it at this point um, to uh, illustrate kind of the building of it. But it comes down, runs right under where I'm at, comes around here, comes around to the clean out that's over here, and then it comes all the way back along the same path and out and behind the barrel. And like I, what that does is it just makes this bench cozy warm to sit on. It's... Uh, this is the, one of the dog's favorite place. In fact, I had to put one of the dogs outside because uh, she wanted to get back up on this and while we were filming and it wasn't going to work out. So um, that's kind of how the whole system works. And this is just basically what I'm sitting on is a thermal battery. And all it does is store heat and release it back into the, into the room in the living space slowly. 
and uh, just it's a cozy, warm, comfortable place to be. So Shot it straight down into the burn chamber, and you can kind of see why it's they call it a rocket mass heater. It gets its name from the sound. It sounds like a rocket. I mean, it's pulling drafting so hard, and it's pulling that fire right in sideways. And this is straight up, and we're not getting any smoke back. I mean, it's all pulling all the exhaust right down inside uh, into the system, reburning it, and uh, working the way it's supposed to. And we, and if you notice, um, with a rocket mass heater, where it's a smaller opening that we're dealing with, I'll kind of show you here. That's my hand in comparison, and I can put my hand. You can see my hand's right over that fire. And it does, I mean, it's it's warm, but it's not it's not hot because it's pulling all that heat into the system, letting it transfer out through the barrel and uh, into the bench. Um, but what, what I was going to originally say with my down there is the fact that we have, you just burn a little bit less wood. You don't have to have big, uh, big logs to hold a fire or anything. Uh, a lot of the wood we're burning now is just trimmings off of all the trees we have around the property and uh, just goes from there. I mean, it, it, it'll burn just about anything we want to feed it. So, yeah, there you go. That's just some more. You can hear that sucker just a running. I was just inside, fire's burning, fire's burning hot, and uh, I can't see any smoke. Every once in a while, I'll see a little wisp of something. It's, like I said, it's just a little puff or whatever, but it's, it's burning super clean right now. Uh, there's no buildup up there. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Nobody in the neighborhood would even know I'm burning a fire inside if, if they didn't come inside and see it. Rocket mass heater, fully functioning uh, piece of equipment uh, to this point. I'll keep you guys updated and bring you back as I get the, the rock wall up and the rock face on the bench and the cushions made and all that stuff. That way you can uh, stay updated on what that is. If you guys have questions about the rocket mass heater, feel free to ask me. I am by no means an expert. I have learned a lot by trial and error. But I've read about every piece of information out there, and I know I've watched about every YouTube video. In fact, I pretty much guarantee I've watched every YouTube video out so far on rocket mass heaters. Um, I was hit and miss on it at first because it was giving me so much trouble. But, like I said, we've worked out the kinks. Things running like a champ. Doesn't even give us a, any issues at all. I uh, highly recommend them if you've got the space for them. Uh, it's something that you've almost got to design into the house because it is, they take up a little bit of room, but they are super efficient and they are, it's a nice, it's a good quality heat source. Uh, dependable, reliable, and it's there if the power goes out. So, um, I don't know, that's about all I got. Gabe, do you got anything? What do you think of the Rocket Mass Heater?
good. It's good. And uh, is it warm? Yeah. Pretty nice, huh? He likes it on the bench, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So we're just here promoting uh, self-reliance and modern homesteading. Adam with High Desert Hollow signing out. Gabe, did you want to say goodbye? Mm, yeah. Bye. See you guys. Doing a test of the rocket mass heater. As soon as he can learn how to do videos, he's been doing all sorts of fun. Got the fire burning sideways down the bottom, just like everybody says. Took a while to get that to figure out how to get that to go right. And nope, so far nobody's tough enough to stick their hold their hand above that chimney for very long. I'm going to wash my shirt. Turn it. Okay, you turn counterclockwise. This way. So clockwise. Down down wash your and we need to go. Hold on. Get my, After that, we don't. Like we need to go your way. Oh. Yeah, I need to come this way. Well, I gave it my all. This way. <laughs> which way? Which way? Towards you? Yeah. Okay. Let's see where we're at now. Take my line there, so we got to go a little bit farther. You want me to hold that light out? That'd be easier. <laughs> That's the line. And the line the brick. Nice. Right? It's like an inch that way. Okay. So go back? Yep. Go the real way. There's mine the brick. That's the line of the brick. That's that line. How are we looking on that metal over there? Uh, um, I can't you can see, see a bit of a gap here. No, you can't. There's a gap. Right over there. Yeah. You need that handle. That's, that's okay. No, it's not. Yeah, it's just where the bell went down. Okay. Let me see it like.